Good morning, y'all. Woo. Starting day 10, and it has been rough. I don't have my makeup on this morning. I haven't done my hair. I don't have the energy to get in the shower. I just made it from the bed to the recliner. I've felt weak since last Thursday. Today's Monday. Right now is where the metal... What is it? The rubber meets the road, the metal. I don't even know. I am just so tired and I'm wanting to give up. It's so hard. This is so hard. Oh my gosh. Supposedly, after I get through this stage, I'm going to have a, an energy boost and I'm going to feel really good. And it's all going to be worth it to get past this rough spot because right now is when the major detoxing is happening. I'm exhausted. My vitals have been staying good. My blood sugar was actually down to 63 yesterday. And the new guidelines are anything below 70 is hypoglycemic. So it was a little low. Um, but they say during fasting that the low blood sugars are not like if you have diabetic blood sugars. They're not, um, not unsafe like um, if it's from diabetes. So, And I don't have diabetes. So... Anyway, they did come up later in the day to 84, so my blood pressure is still running good. My heart rate is like at 67, which is really good for me, so I'm pleased with that. Uh, some of the symptoms I'm having, of course, is dry mouth, my tongue. Oh my gosh, it's so nasty. Look at this. Ah. It's yellow and white. I think the yellow is probably yeast, and it's coated and it stinks and it's just nasty and i do not think i could do this and be working at all i mean the first five days was a breeze and then from day six to day nine was hell so um i can't imagine yeshua going 40 days moses elijah all the prophets, everyone that fasts 40 days, and people still fast 40 days, and just the thought of it just makes me want to cry, so, um, <laughs> I already had a crying fit this morning, my back hurts, the severe acid reflux, just so weak, I can only get from the bed to the recliner or to the couch, <sighs> taking a shower yesterday, I don't even think I took a shower yesterday. <laughs> I think the shower the day before just wore me out. I was just crawling back to the couch. So, uh, not physically, but that's how it felt. Um, let's see. I have lost 16.8 pounds. Right now, I could care less about how much weight I'm losing. Um, a place on my back that is, it's like a mole that has gotten scaly, so it's changed. Um, there's two of them, and they are getting smaller and are drying up. I've had two skin tags to disappear, and I've got one more that's just about gone. Um, I have a little place right here on my face. It was a lot bigger, and it's smaller now. So some of the skin issues are resolving, which is good. Uh, sorry, I keep licking my lips, but they're so dry. And I am drinking... Um, I think one day I just couldn't do it. I mean, the acid reflux is so bad. And I did finally break down and take a Rolaid because the Rolaid did help. But um, I'm trying not to do anything, take anything. Um, what else? Sleeping good. Oh, my gosh. The last three nights I've slept like a rock, which is nice because if I was having insomnia with all this, I think I would have given up. And if I wasn't in the February fast group, I would have given up as well. But they're they're further along than me, and they've all been through this hard part, and now they're all feeling good. And I'm like, oh, just one day at a time, just hang on. And even if I don't make it the full 20 days, which I originally said 21, but then I changed it to 20 because we're having a family get-together, and I want to start my refeeding process at the get-together so I can have some juice um, it's Robert's birthday that day, so I thought, well, it'd be nice to at least, um, have some juice while they're eating. So, um, I made it for 20 days, the goal, whew, which is February 27th. 
I'm just drained. Oh my gosh. My clothes are so loose. My t-shirts are way longer than they were. The belly fat is going slow, but everywhere else it's coming off. I've noticed my back fat has decreased considerably. Um, a lot of good results, but I don't have no glow from fasting. I'm just like sallow colored and it's hard. It's so hard. I'm hoping it's going to be worth it. Um, you do gain back half of about half of what you lose, but you don't regain the other unless you go back to your crazy eating habits. But, um, of course, I'm plant-based and was eating processed plants, um, processed plant food some. So we're going on a um, whole food plant-based, no salt, no oil, no sugar after this. Robert will refeed with me once we get to the regular meals. Um, he won't refeed during the juice and stuff, though it would help him to do that, but he's not going to do that probably. But that's okay. And he's been very supportive. He's cooking his own meals. He's not eating in front of me. Um, I have started walk, watching cooking shows on the whole food plant base, no salt, no oil, no sugar, looking at recipes, looking ahead to what I'm going to do because the refeed is just as important as the fast and that's where you've got to retrain your eating habits and taste buds and at this point I think a raw onion would be delicious so um trying to think if there's anything else I can think of the group is very supportive many of them have been in there have done multiple extended fasts and that's probably why it's a little bit easier on them because once you do a long fast, it fixes so much in your body that the next time you fast, it's not near as difficult. Um, but I can honestly say if I ever get to the goal, I will never probably do this again. I'll go back to my three-day fast and intermittent fast and hopefully that'll be enough because this, um, this is not fun. But... Uh, and I didn't expect it to be the whole time, but it was going so well the first five days. I was like, darn, this isn't going to be bad at all. And then when it hit, I was like, oh, God, this is just horrible. And today I look puffy. Because yesterday my face looked a lot thinner. But today it looks puffier. I don't know. Anyhow, that's where I'm at. I'm hanging in here. Y'all have a good day, and I'm going to try to, uh, I hadn't been able to do my Tai Chi or my Chi Gong the last few days, because I just can't stay upright. Um, I am going to try to do, I've been doing meditation and praying, and yesterday I cried out to Father to please, please help me through this, because I just, whew, I just didn't think I could make it, and I'm trying to do one day at a time, and I was just wanting to give up so bad, and I'm like, oh, you've come this far, and once you give up, you're going to have to start over if you ever want to do it again, and if you just get to the end, it's going to fix so much, because the first few days of fasting will alleviate symptoms, but it's not until you get into this phase that you're getting some healing, so I really want to heal and I want to reset my body and I want to get out the toxins and I want to get out the parasites oh and another thing yesterday I had a big blowout to be gross but and it looked like stringy mucusy ick so I think that was good because it looks to me like getting out some of that nasty that wasn't coming out and as far as the yellow tongue I think that's good because your toxins and stuff comes out through your skin, your breath, your tongue, your bowels, your urine, um, any way it can come out. So, seeing a yellow tongue uh, and white tongue um, indicates that it is getting out some of the yeast and toxin. And I think yeast is a big thing for me because... I'm a sugar addict. Sugar is vegan if you um, don't get any that's been bleached with bones and animal bones. And um, so sugar's always been still, oh, I can have that because that's vegan. But sugar, I think, is killing me. And, um, you know, when you start eating really good, you think you're going to feel great. And um, I've been eating good and I still feel crummy. And fatigued. So I just kept coming back to it's parasites and toxins. 
and you got to get them out. So this was my plan to do that, and uh, we'll keep going one day at a time. Wednesday, I do go to Winston for my MRI. Thankfully, Robert has taken off work, and he's going to drive me there. So um, if I can just get in there and get on that table and have that MRI and have that done, um, and then I can come back home. I start back to work on March 1st. But honestly, like I said, if I had been working, I would have gave up on probably day six or seven because I wouldn't have been able to lay around in the bed. But um, I'm up today. I'm in my recliner. I'm hoping to practice my harp because my friend's coming over tomorrow and she's going to bring her bagpipes and her violin and um, we're going to play with our instruments. And um, so I need to practice a little bit or I'm not going to be able to hit, play at all with her. So... Uh, uh, just done checking in, and y'all have a good day. Thanks.